Hello, third graders. Welcome to our lesson today for reading. So this week we are working on connecting words and pictures. And we started the week talking about informational text. Today we're going to do fictional text. And how do pictures and words connect together in a fictional story? So I am in my Laughs Ready book on page 352. And we are going to talk a little bit about this and then practice. So I have my pencil and I do have a highlighter because I'm going to highlight a couple things as we go. So our goal this week is to look at illustrations in a story and learn more about the characters, where the story takes place, and the feeling or the mood that the author has created. So everyone loves stories with pictures. But pictures or, il or illustrations are more than just decoration. They're not just there for prettiness. Illustrations work with the words to help you understand how characters look. So I'm going to actually highlight that. They work with the words to help you understand how the character looks. Together they work. They provide details about the setting. So they tell me where it takes place. They can also show you what's happening and add to the mood, which is a feeling that the story creates. Is it making a story here of being frightened or serious or is it funny? What kind of a mood is the story setting? So we're going to look at this illustration here and the text and talk about what can we learn from both of these? What details are we getting? So first, I'm looking here at this illustration. I see a girl. It looks like she's opened a door. I can see a doorknob over here. And inside here, this kind of reminds me of like a video game where they show you like the racetrack and here's all these race drivers, maybe who I'm competing against. And she looks like she maybe has a remote in her hand of some sort of a video game. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. I'm going to read my words here. It says... This was no ordinary door. Somehow this door led Maya into the world of the video game she had just been playing. Its bright colors and smooth shapes were inviting. Best of all, Jorix seemed to be waiting for her. But Maya had to wonder if she went in, would she ever get out? So I am noticing that the words are kind of matching. Maya must be this girl here because it's the door led Maya. So I'm actually going to kind of underline door led Maya into the world of the video game. So that's what I had thought was happening. It's telling me that there's bright colors and smooth shapes. And I kind of noticed that in this very bright colors. Everything is very smooth. There's not crazy lines. Jorex seemed to be waiting. That must be this person here. So I'm seeing this connection and I know what video game she's been playing because of this illustration. So let's go ahead and write down some of those details in our book. Now, they already gave us that details about the characters. Well, the text told us that it was Maya and that there was some sort of a game character. We can actually put his name because in the text it tells us his name was Jorex. Um, the world of video games was the setting based off of the story. So what did the word say that created a mood? Well, we underlined that. We talked about bright colors. Bright colors kind of give you the mood of happiness. We talked about smooth shapes. We underlined that, which is pleasing to your eyes. Very pleasing. And then it also said that it was inviting her in. Oops, and what am I writing here? I'm lost it. Inviting. Let's spell that correctly, Mrs. Weinkind. Inviting. I'm sorry, I was looking at two different things. Inviting her in. So kind of in invitation. But the last line kind of also I want to put here where she says, would she ever get, ever get out. Because that kind of creates that mood of like curiosity or even a little bit of like 
anxiety or anticipation. So it was inviting her in. That was a mood, very welcoming. And then would she ever get out is kind of like the opposite. So those all came from the text. Let's look at what we can learn from the illustration. So based off this illustration with the character, Maya's a real person. I can see that. And I can tell here that the scene behind her is a video game and that this Jorax or this person is a video game character. So details about the characters from the illustration, I can tell Maya is a real person from that illustration. And I can tell that Jorax, who was the character, is a video game character. Is a video game character. He definitely has that kind of grainy look that a video game would have. All right, let's talk about the setting. So let's just go ahead and look first at the illustration and the setting. So I'm seeing that there's trees. I'm seeing there's ro a road here. I'm seeing that there's these hills kind of over here in the background. Um, I noticed that there's this like squiggle, maybe road map that's like up in the sky to tell me where I'm at. There are some bubbles floating up here above the landscaping. There's race car drivers, so I can see that I'm on a path. So I'm going to put some of those words here. I see that there's trees. We said that there was hills. We said that there was a squiggle racetrack and bubbles floating. Floating. We can see that they're on a racetrack. So I can kind of get some ideas of the setting and what game she's playing. The words just told me it was a video game. Well, as you guys probably know, there's a ton of video games, but the illustration gives me a specific kind of video game and gives me those details. So now let's think about the mood based off of that illustration, all those things that we looked at. Well, during that, in that illustration, I do see those bright colors. There's bright red and there's purple and green and yellow. There are definitely some bright colors. I notice that Jorax is smiling, which would give me that welcoming inv invitation in. So creating that happiness mood. So smiling game character. And even in the top, these characters up here are even smiling. They look happy. So those bright colors and that smiling game character kind of create in this illustration, this mood of inviting or wanting her in. So based off of this, if I had only read the text and not looked at the picture, I would have known she was playing a video game. I would have known that there were bright colors and smooth shapes and some Jorax was there, but I wouldn't have known what kind of game. Based off of this, I would have almost thought it was like a castle or, um, I, I don't know, some other kind of game. Somebody's waiting for her. If I had only looked at this, I'm not sure what would be happening here. Maybe this is the screen that she's on. I wouldn't know. So by putting these two things together... By looking at both the text and the illustration's details, I'm able to understand what is happening in the words and in the illustration. It gives me a deeper level. So as a reader, we want to stop and look at those illustrations. How are they connected? What is in there? What mood are they creating? What's the character doing? How are they feeling? What's the setting? And we're going to keep practicing that this week. Make sure you have this filled out and I will see you later for another awesome reading lesson.